Hey everybody, it's Jimmy Zell here. Just uh, gonna shoot my video for the day. Hope you're having an awesome day. It's Friday. This is our day six of our 21 day video challenge. And I uh, hope you're getting some value, some good content in some of the videos I've shot for you. Today I wanna address a couple other um, questions that came up in our Facebook chat. And uh, some people asked about how do you handle objections? Now there's uh, there's a lot of objections that come up, but there are some staple ones. Uh, you know, the one that I think comes up the most is like the money objection. Maybe they don't have the time to do it, you know, the time objection. Uh, you're going to hear the pyramid objection, right? Uh, maybe they read something on the internet, you know, uh, uh, regarding the, um, you know, regarding uh, the company. Uh, so, so there's those type of objections. What I want to do is I want to just give you two phrases that I use um, to handle uh, all the objections that usually come my way, all right? And, uh, and then, and just, they're, they're really good little transition phrases to help you get through those objections, all right? And so, the first one that I use is that, uh, you know, let's say someone says, maybe I'm in a product company, uh, and I've had this happen before when I was in a product company, you know, they say, Jimmy, you know, the, your, uh, you know, your product has this ingredient, this ingredient, blah, 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 blah. And one of my comebacks to that, or maybe, you know, your, your uh, um, uh, energy company has high, this higher and this higher this or whatever. I mean, they just have some kind of objection. My response is going to be very simply two different things. One is I'm going to say, hey, I don't know about that. All I know is this. Okay, this is a phrase I use. I don't know about that. All I know is this. So here's what I would say. Hey, I don't know about all those bad ingredients that you're talking about, right? All I know is that there's literally millions of people that are on this product. And even for myself personally, here's what's happened. I've lost this amount of weight. I feel great. I sleep better at night, whatever it may be. But the phrase is, I don't know about that. All I know is this. Well, you know, Jimmy, does anyone make any money doing that? Uh, well, listen, I don't know all about that. <laughs> all I, I don't know about that, but all I know is this. Uh, I've got a guy that's helping me, making six figures uh, a month in this company. And uh, what's great about it is he's helping me build my business. Okay, So it's the phrase, I don't know about that. All I know is whatever. Okay, uh, and then Another one I use is what I call the feel, felt, found Okay, phrase. Feel, felt, found. And I use this quite often as well, probably about the same. Um, someone says, you know, um, you know, th those programs don't work or this isn't going to work for me, whatever objection they're throwing at me. I'll say, hey, Joe, I know how you feel. I felt that way in the very beginning as well. Okay, I didn't think it was going to work either. But here's what I found out. I got started. I had incredible mentors and leadership and support and training to help me build my business. And I've already earned my investment back. And I'm on my way to being in profit mode, uh, making an extra $1,000 this month. Okay, I know how you feel. I felt that way too, but this is what I found. Okay, feel, felt, found. I know how you feel, but this is what I, uh, th I felt that way too, but this is what I found. Okay, feel, felt, found. And so those are some phrases that I use to handle most of the objections that are out there. Okay, and um, you know, one of the skills, once again, it's all about developing your skills. You'll get better at these. You know, use these phrases. I don't know about that. All I know is this. Or, hey, feel, felt, found. I know how you feel. I felt that way too, but here's what I found. So when you get those phrases down, you can handle probably 99% of the objections that come your way and steer them back to what really uh, is in it for them. You know, their favorite radio station. What's in it for them? What's in it for me, right? W-I-F-M. And so use your transition phrases, you know, to, to um, you know, go into their objection, whatever it may be, but remember this, God gave us two of these, right? And, and uh, I want to encourage you that if you listen, okay, work on your listening skills and ask the right questions, okay, people will tell you the presentation that they need to hear to enroll with you, okay? So go get good at asking those questions, best way to handle objections. So listen to them. You have a couple phrases I gave you. You know, let them tell you the presentation that they want to hear so they'll enroll with you. Right? So I hope this video helps you out on how to handle some objections. 
know what's um, a generic, but that's really what you need in terms of, of uh, you know, duplicating. Um, if you want high level tactics and things like that, I'm not your guy. I just keep things very, very simple. Right? So with that, if you liked it, if you got some good content value, definitely share this with other people, uh, comment on it, and uh, you know, join us on this 21 day video challenge. And uh, we're pushing people out of the comfort zone, it's helping them grow all throughout this uh, great industry. So with that, everybody, I'll see you on day seven. Have yourself a better than great day. My name is Jimmy Zell. We'll see you on the next video. Take care.